So it's time for another dividend income update video. And just like last month, for October, I received seven dividend paychecks from my portfolio. So in this video, guys, we're going to look at how my portfolio is performing, where those seven paychecks came from, and what I'm going to do for the month of November. So if you like videos like this, make sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the thumbs up button so that you can follow along the journey. And with that out of the way, let's get back to the main thing and jump right into my phone. All right, so here we are on the dashboard of WeWill. As you can see, my account value right now is at $7,554.57. And I still have a cash balance of around $25. That is pretty much like leftover from last month that I'm going to be using for the month of November. But and as you can see right now, the gain for the day is 6.19%, which is totally good. Now anyway, let's go over to my positions right here. I have 13 positions right now. I have Stag, O, Good, SCHH, ABR, EPD, ABBV, PCI, Main, NYCB, LFT, GNL, and AT&T or T. And it's pretty much the same positions that I've had since last month. But if anyway, let's go over back to the very top right here because these are the top movers for my portfolio. I have Stag right here with 43.25% and I only have 36 shares for this guy and it's really killing it right now from $30. That is my pretty much my average price and now the price is at $43. So really, really killing it. The next one right here is O, which is Realty Income. A lot of people really invest in this one because it is the monthly dividend company. You know, that is literally their slogan. So as you can see, I have 16.95% of gain from $60. Now it's up to $70. That is pretty cool. And I only have 11 shares for it. You know, I really want to add more. Anyway, the next one right here is good, which is Gladstone Commercial. I have 47 shares for this one. And right now the gain is 4.48%, which is totally not bad, you know, from $21 as my average price. The price is at $22 right now. And the next one right here is SEHH. And I only got two shares for this guy, which is pretty cool because I still got like almost 30% gain for this from $37 to upwards of $49. So pretty cool. Then the next one right here is ABR which is Arbor Realty Trust. This is basically the mortgage REIT stock that I replaced AGNC and NRZ with. But anyway, I got 10 shares for this guy and then 9.7% increase from $18 as my average price. Now it's at 19.91, which is pretty amazing, you know? And EPD, I feel like EPD is one of those stocks that I got lucky at least because when I started investing in EPD, it was like, you know, going, it was declining. So it was going down to $21. So I really took the chance and, you know, bought some shares for there. And anyway, I got 20 shares for that one and I gained 2% for this guy. And the next one right here is ABBV or AVI. I got three shares of this guy and it gained 2.83%. And the next one right here is PCI, which is PIM called Dynamic Credit Fund. And I got 20 shares of this guy and it gained 2.22%. And you know what, from $21, still around $21, but still a gain is a gain, you know, and I kind of like celebrate that. The next one right here is main. And this one is fairly new to my portfolio, Main Street Capital. I got seven shares of these bad boy. I got 3.11% increase for this one from $42 as my average price. It's now up to $43. Now the next one is NYCB. Now this is one of those stocks as well that usually goes down and goes back up, including LFT as I will mention later on. NYCB, I got 16 shares right there, a gain of 2.75%. And the next one here, the last three are the losers in my portfolio. I have LFT at 25 shares and it lost like 7.20%. So very, very big loss here. Usually like LFT moves like from $4 to $3.9. So it's kind of crazy how like small change can have such a big effect on my profit and loss. So anyway, GNL is the next one right here. I have 78 shares and it lost 4.12% so far, but you know what? That's totally okay. And the last one right here is T or AT&T. I got 30 shares and it lost 21.33% so far. You know, imagine $32. Now it's all down to 25.40%, you know? I, I'm not sure whether or not AT&T can actually go back to this level in anytime soon, but you know what? We'll just see. That's why I'm just holding this stock because it is still a great dividend stock for me. So let's just wait until they actually cut their dividends next year to see how they really perform. Anyway, guys, let's move over to the thing that you're actually here for. Let's go over to the history section. Let's go over to the records right here. Let's look at dividend records. Make sure that the filter is actually from October 1 and then October 31 as my end date. And there you go, guys. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven dividend paychecks for the month of October. Now the last one right here, which is PIMCO or PCI. It, I know it actually keeps saying like, you know, the previous month, but I don't know why that is. I never really researched why this is like that. But anyway, you know what? Since the filter is saying that it's included in October, I'm going to include it in October. So for PCI right here, I got $2.61 on the very first of October. <laughs> I'm just quoting it. 
the 1st of October. For the 1st of October, $2.61 from 15 shares. So the next one right here is GNL, which is Global Net Lease. They paid me out on the 14th of October with $31.20 for my 78 shares. The next one is LFT. On the same date, you actually got one, two, three, four, five paychecks on the same date, which is 14th. So anyway, LFT, $2.25 for my 25 shares. The next one is Main or Main Street Capital with $1.05 for my five shares. I really wanna increase that one right there. So as you can see earlier, it was seven shares. That just means that two of my shares didn't actually count when the X dividend came. So anyway, $1.05 for main. Now the next one right here is Realty Income, which is sticker symbol O, at $2.60 for my 11 shares. The next one right here is Stag, with $4.35 for my 36 shares. So pretty good so far, right? And the last one right here is Gladstone Commercial, ticker symbol good. They paid me $5.89 for the month of October. So these are really good results for the month of October. One of the things that I really noticed when I was looking at my dividend paychecks was that these are only seven and previous months or previous quarters, I usually received nine dividend paychecks. And the main reason for that is because AGNC and NRZ are gone from my list. So they don't pay me out anymore. And that's why I don't have nine paychecks anymore for this specific quarter. But you know what, that's okay because I totally removed that one because I was concerned with them and I replaced them with ABR, which is performing better so far. Anyway, if we total everything together, what I got for October, the total is $49.95. Now, if we compare this one to last quarter, I got around $57 for that one, which was July. And sadly, like I mentioned earlier, NRZ and agency is gone. So I lost like around $8 from that. If I still had those stocks, I'd probably be hitting $60 by now, but you know what? That's just how it is. So let's move over to the next segment of this video, which is looking at the buy and sells for the month of October. To be honest though, there isn't a lot of action last month. I only like did two transactions which was all buy so let's go over here to the dividend records section again look at the order records and filter it out right so filter for the buy and then let's just go over the fill time as custom right here october 1 make sure this is october 31 and then boom done there you go guys like i said just two transactions which is good and main so let's go over to the main right here. So for this transaction, it happened on the 20th and I did a limit order as well for two shares at $43.55. Always gonna be doing limit orders, guys. At least this way you can control the price that you are getting in and you're not missing out on anything else. Anyway, the last one right here is good. I also did this transaction through a limit order for two shares at $22. And that's pretty much it, guys. This is very boring stuff. I didn't even sell anything at all because there's literally nothing to sell anymore. I think all of the positions that I have right now are totally okay. There are probably some, you know, problematic ones, AT&T, GNL, and, you know, maybe LFT, but I'm just sticking with them for now. So like I said earlier, the start of each quarter is always a great month for me because I always get the biggest paycheck. But right now, it's not. My dividends in October fell because I lost AGNC and NRZ but that is totally okay for me I'm not worried about that anymore because my focus is pretty much growing my dividends for December now aside from growing my December dividends I'm also thinking of starting to add more to my REIT stock as reflected from my good purchase REIT stocks are killing it right now and most of them offer monthly dividends if I get paid monthly that means I can reinvest back to my portfolio more frequently to top it off they also have some crazy price appreciation right now so that totally helps out with growing the value of my portfolio now anyway for November I really have to start making conscious purchases because I only invest $100 every month and the dividends that I get that is a very small contribution but you know what every amount helps because it compounds and i think that is the beauty of dividend investing because you can start as low as you can or whatever funds that you got as long as you stay consistent by contributing to your portfolio every month reinvesting those dividends back to your portfolio and making sure that you never take them out for anything then your portfolio will grow and you will receive increasing dividends every time you're going to start out with receiving cents every month then it's going to go to one dollar every month ten dollars every month then it's going to be 25 $50 and then at some point you're gonna reach $100 every month. Then from $100 to $1,000 every month would probably be a lot easier compared to your initial stages. And that's all I got for you guys. Thank you so much for watching the entire video and I appreciate you for doing that one. If you have any questions regarding me or my portfolio, let me know in the comments below. I always post my journey here on YouTube so make sure to follow along by subscribing to the channel and hitting the thumbs up button because it will help with the YouTube algorithm to get this push out you know, and help the channel grow. And also I am on Instagram at Daily Dread. Please add me there so that we can chat, collaborate, and exchange some ideas. And I hope you have a wonderful day. I will see you in the next video. Bye.